This video is going to take a look at how Java 14 has improved the null pointer exception to make it easier for the developer to understand why they're seeing it. If you're new to this channel, I create weekly tutorials just like this one on technologies such as Java and Angular, so please subscribe if you're interested to see more. So the enhanced switch expression with Java 14 is not actually new to Java engineers. It was actually introduced as a preview feature from Java 12, however it became standardized with Java 14. So we're going to look at how it's changed with an example. I have a method that will accept an integer, that is a year, and it will use a switch statement to return whether the year is a leap year or not. It will return true or false. This is readable, uh, however the method length is a little excessive and the switch statement is fairly long for each case. Uh, but with Java 14 we can change our switch cases to have multiple cases on a single line then using an arrow function we can return the value. Now we have a switch statement over just three lines that is much easier to read. To see how the null pointer works before Java 14 I have created this simple class uh, which is called person with a name and an age that are instantiated through a constructor. And in the main method I will define a map of string to person and this will store the name and the person instance. I have a person instance and I will put that person with their name into the map. So I'm just going to run this application and we can see that there's no problems. However, if I change the map to null and run the app, we get a null pointer on line 10. The log doesn't really provide us with any details. Uh, we will then have to debug the application to understand, for instance, if it's the person, the name, or the map that are null and are creating this exception. So if I restore the hash map and make the person equal to null, we will then face an identical message in the console and the developer isn't really helped out with any detail for the null pointer. So Java 14 helps us out a bit with null pointers by specifying which object is causing the null pointer and if I rerun the app in Java 14 we can see that it tells us that the name to person map is null. So that's a neat little enhancement introduced with Java 14 for investigating a null pointer exception. If you like this video, please check out my playlist on all the latest Java enhancements since Java 8.